The module that I'm teaching here is about how we can use causal models to drive inference in both process tracing, so within case analysis, as well as multi-method inference, where we're integrating both population level quantitative information about a phenomenon and within case information. Think about field research not just as what you do in the field, but sort of the design, so how it connects to research design and how it connects to data analysis and very practical kinds of advice. To look at their role in sort of the direction of you know, the confrontation. The sessions, of course, are packed, intense, and, uh, uh, and, and, and definitely worthwhile. The prime stakeholder with the community it kind of moves through something else like... My favorite sessions have been the multi-method research sessions with Professor C. Wright. So one of the controversial views that I, I enjoy holding... One of the things that happens in the multi-method classes at IQMR is people realize that they can take their case study research and build in cutting-edge statistical things like text as data or machine learning or experimental strategies and have that become part of the case study. I'm posing a question I think you're going to be asked several times. Oh, yeah. We don't have a political ethnography course at Georgetown, so it's been great getting to meet the professors and actually go out and do some ethnography and really learn from some of the experts in the field whose work I've read but hadn't had a chance to meet before. We have people going out to various field sites uh, around the city of Syracuse and also around campus to conduct uh, interviews. And on another day, we have people going out and engaging in participant observation. I had a really in interesting conversation in ethnography uh, when we were practicing interviewing and I spoke with uh, a young woman by the name of Chika and she was telling me about indigenous knowledge back in Nigeria. That was very interesting. Everyone here is going to say, you know, you need theory, you need to think about your models. Uh, I teach a course on uh, natural experiments. It's a course on sort of integrating standard approach to natural experiments, which is heavily quantitative and statistical with emphasis on uh, how qualitative methods are a crucial part of natural experiment and can make them stronger and bring some of the tools that sort of methodologists, qualitative methodologists have developed to think about how we can improve natural experiment uh, applications. It's about different ways of theorizing, selecting cases, doing causal explanations. I'd say the most important thing I've learned has been these different logics that apply to other kinds of research. So content analysis, giving a very different framework for understanding what questions you can ask and answer. Fieldwork, of course, brought up not just strategies for fieldwork, but how you can bring it into a research project. And so I'd say the most interesting and the fun aspect of IQMR has been thinking not just as there will be interviews and there will be stats, and that is the components of a dissertation, but many other ways of achieving causal or descriptive inference. There have been some great people from all different areas and different methodologies, different projects, and it's also been great to meet some colleagues from around the country working on similar things that I am. It's been eye-opening to see the different types of research that have been done. I really love how a lot of my professors, pretty much all of them, have really thoughtfully thought of how to explain how each method can complement the other, so we can really try to frame and think about what methods to use more thoughtfully. Where, in your view, does process tracing sit? Uh, across the different styles of qualitative methods. It's somewhat frightening to be surrounded by people who are so much smarter and better read and better prepared than I am at this, but delightful and at the same time, of course, to get feedback from all these different directions. In the beginning, there is some sort of resistance or skepticism, but then people start uh, processing the information we are giving, and at the end, we have very interesting debates on the pros and cons of how this phenomenon of, of empirical limited diversity is handled in set theoretic methods. Students are very excited and I learn from them about cool stuff that they're working on. That evening I went back to my room and started writing out my typology, which I think is quite helpful. My advisor was quite happy to know that I was doing that. Everyone's been great. It's a really supportive and friendly group of people. It's the first time I've been around so many um, female scholars of color and to be able to share our experiences and understand that while Everybody here is an emerging scholar. There is something different about not only being a woman, but also a woman of color. And we've been able to bond in a way, but at the same time, share experiences across the cohort at IQMR this year um, in a way that I think is helpful for everyone.
the best part of the conference was the networking and meeting other students who are studying the same thing I'm doing or different thing and who come from different parts of the world. Even over the coffee break, um, we have a lot of discussions, exchange with different students come from different countries, different universities. So, wow, a lot of inspiring discussions. The main thing that I'm struck by is how sharp and engaged and curious the students are. It's been a pleasure to, to work with them here. It really encourages me about the kinds of research that people are doing, both you know, junior scholars, graduate students, but also there are faculty who come. The students who end up here ask questions that push me and push their fellow students to think about things we haven't thought about before, and that's something that I've, I've valued you know, since the very beginning. It was a really great conference. It was a lot of fun uh, and a really great learning experience.